you've got a stab going right in the kidney, it's a nice and strong stance. He's not getting out of there, he's not doing anything. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about the rubber knife we have for sale at Enzo Martial Arts. I'm going to be talking about all of its features, who would use this, why you'd want to buy this over other training knives that we sell at Enzo. At the end, I'm going to give you a few tips and tricks on getting started training with the rubber knife. Hello, my name is Stan Swift. I've been doing martial arts for the past 33 years and the owner of Enzo Martial Arts for the past 16 years. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. So let's get into this video and learn all about the rubber knife we have for sale at Enzo. So this is the rubber knife and the only rubber knife we sell at Enzo Martial Arts. Now this particular style of knife has been around ages in martial arts. It's probably one of the first ones that came out in terms of a training weapon for like knife defenses. You could say it's relatively old school, not in sort of martial arts terms, but in terms of like modern era, this is a relatively old school, one of the original training knives. So yeah, really nice little weapon to play with and it has lots of benefits over some of the other training knives. For one, it is rubber, so it's relatively soft. If you compare it to like a wooden one, Oh, which is much harder. It's much more forgiving in terms of being attacked with it. Now, it isn't 100% safe. You know, I've seen people get sort of stabbed in the eye with these, sort of in the eye socket, and you know, that's really gonna hurt. It's still a point on the end. It still relatively hurts. But you know, in terms of getting stabbed with it, it does bend, you know, it's got some flex to it. And you know, and that's, the people do like that, you know, getting hit with it, 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 it's not gonna cause a lot of bruising compared to some of the other knives. So it's quite a forgiving knife. If you are doing this with people that are quite like nervous about getting hit with the knife, you know, you wanna build them up slowly in terms of pressure testing, this is definitely a really good place to start. It's not all roses, there are downsides of this knife, which I should probably tell you about, so you know exactly what you're buying with the products. I always feel like at Enzo, I wanna be honest with the products we're getting. One thing that happens with these is that the silver does rub off, and I've got an example of it here. So this is probably halfway through, it's metamorphosis. Now, the silver does come off with these, so you will end up with a completely black knife. Doesn't change the function at all, but obviously doesn't look like a kind of knife copy in a way after some time. Now, it takes quite a while. Obviously, if you're hammering them and using them all the time, it'll be quicker than if you don't use it that much. But yeah, that is something that will happen. Also, if you're going crazy with these and you're doing full on like high pressure pressure testing, they can break eventually, you know? Not, not straight away, but they can break at the hill. To be honest, if you're training that hard with the rubber knife to a point where you are breaking them, you need to get yourself another knife. Now, I was doing jiu-jitsu in the late 90s and we trained with these a lot and you would, you would break them now and again, but there wasn't really any other weapons on the market apart from the Tantos. So we tended to use the wooden Tantos and they don't break at all. Nowadays, there's stuff like the cold steel knives that you can get, which are much, much more durable, but much harder. So you need more experienced practitioners training with these. But if you're doing that hard training, hopefully those practitioners are gonna be more experienced. This is definitely for beginners, nice and forgiving, and a much, yeah, gentler entry into practicing knife defenses. So what styles would use this? Who's gonna be training with a rubber knife like this? Well, there are some traditional styles. It's gonna be like some of the traditional jiu-jitsu styles, some of like the ninjutsu styles that are doing more street street defense-based training. Um, they will be using this, but you're also gonna get the pure self-defense training systems like Krav Maga, you know, the fast system, and there's like Casey fighting method. There's loads and loads of self-defense styles out there, but they're all, sort of relatively similar in their approach and they would all be tra training with knives and could definitely benefit from using rubber knives. So I've mentioned a few of the knives that we have here. We do actually have a bigger range than that, so I'll just go through some of them. We do do wooden tantos. Now we also do, we do the red oak here, but we also do do the white oak and the black oak. As well as the cold steel knife I showed you, we also do a peacekeeper knife. So it's a double-edged knife and some people would like just the, the mix up from having a single edge to a double edge. 
Branching out from knives, we do two styles of Coubertans, and pretty new to Enzo, we do plastic crumbits. So as promised at the beginning of the video, here's just a few knife defenses that you can practice. Now, just chucking in a disclaimer, this isn't meant to be 100% street accurate style defenses. You know, there are the occasional comments on YouTube and Instagram that that won't work in a real fight. This is simply just to get you started practicing with a knife and just getting some ideas of how you know, you can manipulate the knife and whatever. If you really, really want some full on street defense, like instruction, go to a Krav Maga class or like Casey fighting method or something like that. Don't just listen to me and think this is like 100% the perfect technique. This is just an idea just to get you into the frame of mind of like manipulating someone who's like holding the knife and trying to, trying to stab you. So, like the first simple thing that you can just try, if Connor stabs me right in the kidney, I can get my body in and you want to, like, if Connor wants to push, like, really hard, as hard as he can, you know, I'm pretty relaxed, there's no, there's no real effort here, you know, my body weight's behind it, you know, it, it's a nice and strong stance, like, oh, I'm kind of like, I don't know, 45 degrees-ish with Connor. So this is a really good blocking place to be. Um, now the knife's nice, nice and away, it's nice and far away, Connor's put in loads of effort. Um, and then you can simply just turn his elbow around and put the knife right behind his back like this. Nice and simple, arms in, he's tucked in, he's not getting out of there, he's not doing anything. Really good position for me, I'm like nice and relaxed, I've got a nice free hand. And then you know, you can like, you, I'm sure you're going to mess about struggling, but you can take the knife out and chuck it away or whatever and then like tend to get lost. So that's a really good nice one to try, really simple, it's just a simple manipulation of that elbow, tucking the knife out of the way so you don't get stabbed. So, uh, number two, uh, how do you want to do it? Uh, maybe like a psycho stab, this is always a good one. So nice psycho stab, again the same concept, blocking up, you know, this is like, looks really dodgy from here, Connor's got right over me but still I've got a nice strong position. And then you can bring your hand over to your other hand and just bend it over into a nice shoulder lock. Again, you can get this with one hand, keep the thing free. And then you've got a nice, comfortable shoulder lock for Connor, which you won't be very happy about. He's in a really compromised position now. You know, you can move him around, do whatever you like. Take the knife off, give him a kick away, tell him to get lost. So, yeah, have a go with those two, see how you get on. And, uh, yeah, like I said, if you want to learn knife defences, go to a class and, uh, yeah, and actually do a bit of pressure testing because it does make a big difference when you get attacked with a knife. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it was useful. I hope you learned loads about the rubber knife we have for sale at Enzo. If you like this video, click the little icon, subscribe to this channel and get all the latest videos and updates from Enzo Martial Arts. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Cheers.